Hi kids, my name is Renu and today I'm going to read you a story about a little polar bear, Lars and Robbie. This story is brought to you by The Talking Cupcakes. Lars, the little polar bear, lived with his mother and father at the North Pole where the snow always blankets the land. More than anything, Lars loved playing in the snow with his friends Greta the polar bear, Anna the hare and Peeps the snow goose. One day Anna whizzed by on her snowboard. Lars hoped she wouldn't try to get him on there. It looked too fast for Lars. Come on Lars, begged Anna. It's your turn. I promise it's fun. Lars shook his head and backed away. Then Lars found another board and decided to give it a try. He carefully climbed on. Suddenly the snowboard sped down the hill with a terrified Lars on board. Help! he cried. I don't know how to stop. The boat hit a rock and Lars flew through the air. He landed on his stomach and skidded across the ice. Ouch! Luckily, Lars stopped just before he plunged into the hole in the ice. Lars was surprised when a seal poked up its whiskery face. Then the seal disappeared. Lars wanted a closer look. He chased after the seal who jumped from one hole in the ice to another. Lars got too close to the last hole and toppled in splash. Lars couldn't swim. He swallowed a big mouthful of sultry water and it went up his nose too. It was awful. He was sinking deeper and deeper. Then Lars felt slippery flippers under him. The seal pushed Lars to safety. Lars lay panting on the ice. The little seal vanished below the water surface before Lars had a chance to say thank you. Before long, he popped up again. Hi, I'm Robbie, he said. Care for a fish? After his snack, Lars felt better. He and Robbie played slipping and sliding in the snow. Sofkals the walrus shook his tusk muttering, I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. A seal playing with a polar bear? One afternoon, Lars and Robbie scrambled up to the top of the big iceberg. You can see for miles, said Robbie. Hey, there are my parents. And there are Brutus, Boris and Bert, warned Lars. And they are hunting. Lars shouted and Robbie barked. Look out behind you. The seal yelped and jumped to safety. But all the noise caused the pile of snow under Lars and Robbie to avalanche down upon hungry Brutus, Boris and Bert. That evening, three very angry polar bears paid Lars' father a visit. My son is a good boy, said Mika. He didn't mean any harm. That's all well and good, said Brutus. Little bears will be little bears. But he cost us our lunch, didn't he? And he started the avalanche that clobbered us, growled Boris. It wouldn't happen again, promised Mika. Lars, said Mika softly. Robbie seems very nice, but polar bears and seals just can't be friends. But Robbie and I are friends, shouted Lars. He ran off before his father had a chance to say another word. Lars found his friend at the old shipwreck. Robbie, he said, my father says I can't play with you anymore. Robbie's whiskers drooped sadly. 
Mine too, said the seal. He wrapped his slippery flippers around Lars for the last time. I'll miss you, little polar bear, he said. The next day, the polar bears and the seals met to discuss the problem. Seals and polar bears are enemies. That's all there is to it, said Brutus. No, wait, said Lars. Robbie, will you please catch a fish for me? Slipping beneath the water, Robbie came up with a fish and tossed it onto the snow. Thank you, said Lars. See, the seals can feed us. The seals were very happy catching fish. The bears were happy eating them. And Lars was happier than he had ever been before. Now nothing could come between him and his best friend, Robbie. Thank you for listening. If you love the story, don't forget to give us a thumbs up.